Welcome, this is Atari Living Sacrifice, and we are continuing our adventure of King's Quest Chapter 2, Rubble Without a Cause, and we're going to begin now. I've been having a blast with this game, hope you have been too. Subscribe, tell your friends, and shh, this is the movie starting, shh. He's still got the nose. So, in the last, the last thing we saw in the last episode was during the fencing. Pockets, uh, sir. Gr uh, um, what pockets? Graham, we have some important addendums that need addressing. <clears throat> you have my attention. Proceed. Proceed. Yes, well, our new uniforms came in, and Addendum 90210 grants you the executive power <laughs> 90... over 90210. Which colors do you prefer? Scarlet Sunset or Crimson Colada? Uh, they're the same, right? Uh, Scarlet Sunset. It's the obvious winner. That other uniform just isn't doing it for me. Splendid choice, Your Majesty. Told you, number two. Oh. I'll make you a number two. Next item. How would you like to handle Daventry Decree 867530? Eight, Not 5309. Your daily oh. foot rub. How would you like it handled? Uh, how about deep tissue? Deep tissue. That is if you're up for the feat of strength. <laughs> wow. Hilarious. Your key decisions are already shaping the kingdom for the better. Yay. This is Definitely better. So I have recovered the stolen beds. However, goblin sightings are on the rise again. The horde is surfacing in the northwest. How would you like to proceed? I, I even have subtitles on and I have no idea what she just said. Um uh, let's set up traps along the castle border, then lure them in. You know, sneak attack. Excellent strategy, sire. I'll stay to it at once. All right. Now then, what are your thoughts on Proclamation 741? I am... How's this pressure, your majesty? Hmm. It's good. You heard him, guards. Proclamation 741 passes. Wednesdays are now officially opposite day. Oh, God. We know where this is going. What? I'm not sure I like this. Sire, Kyle and Larry would like to know if they can host their music night in the throne room. Well, I, um... Miss Madeline and her court wish to seek an audience with you. I'm not... Who should we send in first to deal with the goblins? Can I wear your crown? Wow. So, I, it's opposite day, so I need to do... I'll deal with the goblins I need to myself. do the opposite, the right? You, no! Opposite day! Yes means no, and no means yes! <laughs> we saw that coming. Which color did you like again? Uh... Red. Which addendum should we enact next? Uh... What's the opposite of 94? Addendum. Oh, goblin strategy seems oh, to be... Oh, it doesn't matter what I pick. Okay. I think. Are we observing ice cream for breakfast day this year? There's been a slight problem with dinner. It doesn't Get matter what order. I pick, in, I guess. Um. The crows have requested the royal steeds wear socks as well. Do you smell? <laughs> Stir so up emotions. I get it. Stress! I get it. Enough. Out. Oh. Everyone. This episode's a little a kookier than the last Don't one. Know what his problem is? His problem is that he's not King Edward. There's not even bees in here. Bees? What is that? That must have to do with like one I'm of the original sorry. games. I'm going to get some air. But sire, it's pouring outside. <laughs> he's got and him by fine. the main. I'm going to visit Wenty. His custard pie always calms me down. As you wish, Your Majesty. Okay, so now, let's go look at the mirror, see what's going on over here. Huh, I'm not sure if this hat fits me. 
I think he's referring to the fact that he doesn't know if he's fit to be king. That chair is not as comfortable as it looks. It looks like it has no lower lumbar support. Graham, you've got the goods. You just need to relax. Relax. Just relax. We're going to come from behind. I had to cut budget somewhere. Bloop. Bloop. Thanks for hiring me, sir. I am proud to be your royal guard number three. I am glad to join the ranks of royal guard number one and royal guard number... Well, royal guard number one. There's no royal guard number two? I am so glad you enacted opposite day. <laughs> I mean, I am so mad you did not enact opposite day. Things got a little weird back there, sire. I do apologize. Just a little weird. I never knew, King Edward, but you seem to be doing just swell. So is it opposite day? Are you excited for the official leg day next week? Oh, I can't wait. Oh, dear. You'd think with the name guard number two, he'd smell like something entirely different. But no, it's syrup. <laughs> wow. So it wasn't just me. You just keep doing you, sire. That's right. Thanks for hiring me, sire. I am proud to be oh, they, royal guard Oh, they got a skip now. They didn't have that in the first episode. That's going to make things me. a lot easier. I wish I could have saved him. I was tormented about the different choices I could have made, but the outcome was always the same. It's good to know, no matter what we did, poor Darmakachaka, when the walls fell, could not have, like, whoa. So that no matter what we did, he would have died. I, I didn't go back and, like, try to replay the episode to see if it would do differently, but... Hmm... Looks like we they already have I don't have to worry about different mouthpieces in this one. <sighs> Looks like Pilar called in sick again. King Goosey! Hey, it's Olfi! Hey, hey. <laughs> ah, things are good. <laughs> oh you look a little under the weather. <sighs> are we all Olfie always under the weather? Your new shiny hat to get rusted. Thanks, Olfi. I needed a break. Approving addendums is not exactly the adventure I was trained for. But King Edo chose you. Many, many people wanted that hat. Pilar applied like, oh, 17 times. Wow. I guess I was born at the right time. I'm just lucky. Luck? <laughs> yep. But we are all lucky to be remember born when at this you time. recovered all the stolen treasures? And, and remember how you solved that impossible riddle? Oh, 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 and, and that giant beanstalk you scaled? Was that luck? Oh, that are we gonna scale a beanstalk? <laughs> well, none of that matters now. The throne leaves me little time for questing. I'm just trying to be half the king. Da, 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 da. <laughs> king Edo wasn't da, da, perfect, da, da, da. buddy. Daventry was a mess when you got it. <sighs> Olfi's back scars, remember? Well, when you have a legacy like that, people tend to forgive your final years. Come on, little goosey. I wonder if that's how every president has ever felt. Every president in the United States has ever felt. The last guy, he handed you a mess. Hmm? I mean, we, we always hold ourselves to these, like, impossible standards. We always... We always like measure ourselves up against our heroes that you know they probably had lots more training hmm. than we have in particular area all oh, this rain should help this tree grow let's see his light is on tick 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 nobody's home Whoa! <laughs> All right. Oh, that's the battle cry. 
Huh. Whoa, that's a gust of wind. I'd be freaked out too. She's scared of the door? Help me. Or the storm? Somebody help! Was she hearing grandfather or was that like a dream? I like how I called him grandfather. I called him grandfather. We're like we're like this now. We're like buds. Ah, addendum four eight six seven seven. Is it his birthday? No, that's right, because uh, the last episode, Ooh, they something right. happened to Grandfather, the king. They were fencing in the yard, and then all of a sudden the guards came out and said, Your Grandfather! And then that was the end. I guess it must have... Oh, oh man. You could have put it on the other ah. bookshelf. Sarks. But... Oh, Gwendolyn. Even the best Is of us have you? bursts of anger sometimes, Come in. huh? I didn't mean to scare you. Grandpa, you're supposed to be resting. So are you. I couldn't sleep. Neither could I. That's a lot Story of time. For arm. Yes. Well, it certainly wasn't my most graceful tumble, and I am sorry I missed your fencing tournament. There's another one next weekend. I would miss it, even if Kyle has to carry me. <laughs> Are you afraid of the storm, dear? Or your own imagination? No, I'm not afraid of anything. Ah, well, since neither of us can sleep, want to hear a story about a time when I was definitely not in any way afraid <laughs> of anything either. Does it have a dragon? In my... She's a, she's scared of thunder, <laughs> but a not a dragon. Evening, just like tonight. As an adventurer, a goblin kidnapping would have been a fun romp. But as a new king, it was terrifying. All right. The goblin king. The go I, I, just, I was trying to remember one of the uh, Lord of the Rings songs from the old old animated version. That's what Bill Bobaggins hates. It's a rock monster? What the heck? He's sitting on a chair with a wheel on it and walk that can't that cannot be easier. That cannot be conducive to movement. Hmm. Doesn't look like him. Well, I guess <laughs> all of them, all of them humans look alike. It's definitely him. What? Why did they do that? What made them decide to do that? <laughs> Who's in charge? I, uh, uh, I demand to speak to your king. That's right. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. I couldn't see my own head. To the dungeon with you, sir. And I'm not sure I wanted to see anything else down there. Is that me? All right, I'm in the bottom right. So, hey, I think this is a good place to pause it. It's a little quicker than the last chapter already. Um, I'm not really sure, like, I guess the chapter, between chapter one and chapter two, the actual first game must have happened, like the, the old one, the one from the 80s must have happened, um, because I'm pretty sure that's when you got the, I'm pretty sure the first game, I, I can't remember for sure, but in one of the games you have to collect the magic mirror. It's been years since I played them. But, uh, hey, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one, y'all. Keep moving forward.